Hello, Lawrence Grayson back again for shortformvideo.com and in today's After Effects tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a really, really simple carbon fiber effect like the one used in this project here. It's really, really simple and uh, uses no plugins, so you can do this in After Effects CS3, CS4 or CS5. Now, while I'll only be showing you the carbon fiber component of this project um, in this tutorial, um, you'll find the entire project file up on my website at shortformvideo.com. So if you like what you see and want to use it for yourself, you can download the file from there. But that's enough chat, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing to do is uh, create a composition. Um, you can make it any size you like. As you can see, I'm using the HD 720p preset for PAL, which is 1280 by 720, 25 frames per second, and 10 seconds long, and just hit OK. Now the first thing we want to do is create a new solid. So uh, right click in your project panel, select new and solid. Now normally we go with a solid that's the comp size. Um, in this case, we'll actually be doing something a lot smaller. So first of all, we'll call it um, carbon unit. We'll take the width right down to five pixels wide and the height right down to 10 pixels high and just hit OK. Next thing we want to do is go to our effects and presets panel and type ramp to find the generate ramp effect and just drag that onto your carbon unit solid. And it creates this effect. Um, typically speaking, this would be a nice smooth ramp across a larger area, but because we're only using a tiny, tiny um, black solid, you can see the stepping quite visibly. But you have to bear in mind we're also zoomed right in, 1600% uh, in fact. So if I zoom out to the actual size, 100% you can see it's just a tiny little dot there. Um, before we carry on, there's just a small um, tweak we need to perform. If you go up to your effect control panel and just select the end color, uh, which is white by default, and just tone it down to a mid gray and hit OK. Okay, so the next step is to go to your effects and presets panel again and type CC Repetile. And this is basically just a, uh, an effect that lets you take an object and repeat it and tile it, as the name suggests. Uh, once you've added the effect, go to your effect controls panel and just select uh, checker 180. And now when you slide the expand left and expand right, and expand down and expand up, you can see it repeats the pattern multiple times, but flips it 180 degrees on each repetition. And all you need to do is drag these um, values until it fits the area you want to fill. And that's pretty much it. That gives you an instant carbon fiber look without uh, having to download any extra textures and gives you full control over the object within After Effects. So something else you can do now just to give it a little bit more interest is to uh, check the 3D object box on the, uh, on the solid, add a new light, and just position it however you like. And that just adds a little bit more interest and texture because carbon fiber tends to reflect in a very, very specific way. But on the whole, that's all you need to do to get yourself a realistic carbon fiber effect. Um, if we go back to the original composition, all I've really done here is created the text layer, um, set it to stencil alpha, added a, a bevel and emboss effect to it, and then just created a new text layer here um, and added the drop shadow and satin effects. Really very, very simple. Like I said, the project file is on my website at shortformvideo.com. So if you'd like to have a play with it for yourself, go there and download it and have fun. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.